Clean water and electricity are essential for everyday life. But to get one, we often need the other. We generate electricity to purify water. And in many parts of the world, we use water to create energy. In the United States, an average of 5% of the electricity we produce goes towards powering our water infrastructure. But what if we could use wastewater for energy? As it turns out, a decades-old technology known as microbial fuel cells can help extract the energy in wastewater to produce electricity. Well, a microbial fuel cell is a device where we use bacteria to directly produce electrical current from something as simple as wastewater. Right now, we have wastewater treatment plants that consume electrical power, and we can imagine a time when these treatment plants are transformed into what we hope would be power plants. Deep in the sewers and wastewater treatment plants, there are billions of bacteria, or microbes, that break down organic matter to produce electrons. They surrender their electrons to oxygen molecules in exchange for energy. But in a microbial fuel cell, the electrons take a detour. This is a microbial fuel cell. It's really a very simple device. It's just a tube with electrodes on either side of, those, of that tube, one which is sealed off so the bacteria can't get at the oxygen, the other one which is exposed to oxygen. The most important part of a microbial fuel cell are the microbes. The microbes grow on an electrode, which is oxygen-free, so that they send off those electrons to an electrode rather than oxygen. The electrons flow through a circuit, so we extract that electrical current, those electrical power. To complete the circuit, the electrons end up on the other side of the tube and combine with oxygen. The theory is simple, but putting it into practice is not so easy. We initially thought that the greatest challenge would be the bacteria, but it's, it turns out it's actually everything but the bacteria that we have the greatest challenges with. We have systems the size of this cube and maybe a little bit bigger, but we really haven't gone out and built 1,000 liter systems or 10,000 liter systems, and that's an engineering challenge that we need to address next. Despite these challenges, Logan is optimistic about microbial fuel cells. I'm really excited about uh, microbial fuel cells and these different technologies because it creates a truly sustainable way to produce energy and power our water infrastructure. In other words, if microbial fuel cells deliver on their promise, wastewater will be waste no longer. <laughs>